Hi, I'm Cillian. Welcome to my art channel. In this video, we'll be painting a Bob Ross style wet on wet landscape. Enjoy! You can pause the video at this point and write down all the colors that we'll be using. We've started off with a canvas that is uh, covered with white and black paint, which means that the black is mixed with some um, o uh, linseed oil paint thinner to put a uh, thin, even coating on the black part and the white part. Each have a thin layer. And we'll pick those colors up as we move over them with the other colors. So. Um, we start with uh, yellow ochre in the middle, the brightest part of the, of the sky, with Indian yellow on top, and permanent red all the way up on the top. You just need a little bit of paint on your brush, and you'll mix it with the white paint underneath with crisscross strokes, and then try to blend it all together, and back and forth until it looks homogenous and you'll spread that all over the sky so that the, the top of the sky should look pink and then slowly going towards yellow then you pick up some black with brown paint on your palette knife and using just a little bit of paint make your mountains and try to scrape off anything that's excess Make it however small you want, however tall, short, wide, anything that suits what you like. Afterwards, you push down the paint with a two-inch brush towards the sides, just to wipe off the excess and make the mountains seem like they're slowly fading into the depths below. Then we'll take some colors to make the bright side of the mountain that has the sun striking on it. So we'll use some brown mixed with white. And we'll just sort of uh, uh, lay it down, leaving a kind of marbled effect. So you don't want to mix the brown and white together. You want to leave them on the palette knife separately so that you'll have these small white streaks that will look like the sun is hitting those spots. And on each side that you want to have, that you want to show the, the sun hitting that side of the mountain, you put a thin, thin layer um, starting from the middle, going towards the end. And then for the other side of the mountain, you want to get some uh, phthalo blue and the lizard and crimson and make it sort of a, a nice purple color and darken it with a bit of brown and black and then put that from the middle towards the other side of the mountain as the shadowy side. In any place where you have a peak, you need to have a shadow. So wherever you put your peaks of your light side, from, from that point you uh, lay in the shadow next to that. It's nice to have a few bright spots, that way it looks like the, really, uh, the sun is glinting off of them. Now you want to mix some dark colors together, some green with brown. Um, try to get enough paint on your brush that it will We'll leave a good mark, a uh, one inch brush to make the bushes, trees in the background. Um, sap green with Van Dyke brown, dark sienna. And you you load the paint all on, in one direction, you push the paintbrush down in the pile of paint in one direction and then you press it upwards the opposite way to get the effect of bushes. And then for the light, 
highlights on top of the bushes. You go into the light, into the cad yellow mixed with the sap green, and that will show a highlight on those trees that you, trees or bushes, whoever told you made them. Now we want to make our trees, so we just mix some of that same dark brownish green color and we use our fan brush and that makes really nice branches. You just want to make the top a straight line and then after that you use the edge of the fan brush to make the small branches at the top and as you go down you gradually let the fan brush um, go wider and wider. So towards the bottom you'll have to put a few uh, stroke side by side to get the, the full thickness at the bottom And you want to leave it somewhat empty. You don't want to have them too crowded together You want to have the light coming through from the background and that will really have a nice effect Then you take some uh, brown color and you put in the Make a few dots through the, throughout the tree branches to show that there's a trunk there But you don't want to put it as one line down you stagger it sort of um, between different branches you want to show the trunks coming through and you can add highlights to these trees also with a lighter color try to keep it thicker at the bottom and, uh, and darker okay so now we're coming to the, the grassy area underneath and you want to get more of the sap green with a, with the brown colors and using the same way of pulling the brush through the through the paint in one direction and then pushing it back up the other way and uh, making the effect of bushes like that. And then for the highlights, after you um, pull the brush through the lighter green paint, to get the light green highlights, dip the edge of the brush into the bright red, and as you're um, as you're putting in the opposite direction, just leave the red on the top so that it'll look like flowers. If you're enjoying this, please I'd appreciate it if you like, subscribe, and uh, press the bell for more videos that I'll be posting. So now we're doing the rocky part underneath those trees in the background. So we just mixed some brown and white on the palette knife again and left a nice layer of uh, rocks there and then more bushes to go underneath. Those uh, that are more in the distance should have a more faded look and as you come closer you get a more clear bright colors so that it has the uh, appearance of depth of space. You can add highlights of those bushes as well. Whatever colors, you can mix colors together and get the effect of different colored bushes and trees, yellow with green, with red, so you get an orangey look, or a greenish orange look, or a reddish yellow look. areas to the side and just make sure you keep them that the that when you add those grassy areas you follow the lay of your land that if you're going upwards you bring it upwards and if you're going down you show that it's going downwards now we're mixing some white um, a thinner white paint that's mixed with oil together with some a, a little bit of Prussian blue and we're painting our waterfall so you use the fan brush for this clean the fan brush and um, make a nice bend with the water and then af after the bend you sort of uh, push down to show the effects of the bubbles as they come down onto the onto the rocks and then another waterfall by smoothing over with the brush again and here we have the the blue and white paint is picking up on the dark black underneath and it makes the 
the water looked darker than the waterfall itself. Now we mix together some brown and white and leaving it marbled so that it has a nice effect. We're just making some rocks on the sides. So you can put also in inside the water some rocks and on the sides, around, wherever you like to have your rocks, all over. It's fun to make those rocks. You can have very nice uh, looks with uh, brown and white marbling or add some black, make it grayish. Now for the side that has a shadowy area. So we're going to use some of that dark sap green with uh, brown and make the, uh, the appearance of some bushes or trees up in the background. Nothing too clear, just a fuzzy sort of... And then it should look like it's in the distance, like there's a dark area hidden in the background. And then we're going to put some nice big tall trees in the front of it. So if you put on your brush, on one side of the brush, some brown, on the other side, a little bit of white, and you go down in one stroke, so you'll have the white side facing the sunlit side, and the darker side on the opposite side, that will give you your light and your shadow at the same time. That way you don't have to do it again, just white and brown on the same brush at the same time. And then you take your liner brush and you thin down the paint a little bit and draw some branches any which way. And then we go again for that green color and we'll use again our fan brush. So try to put in some patches of leaves from those branches. Be careful not to overcrowd it. It always has a nicer look when you leave a lot of light areas and just put in a little bit of greenery here and there. It has a very nice effect. Having tall trees up close really makes the, the painting look much deeper than uh, makes it look really like the mountains are far back and the trees are coming up front. So now you can add some grassy areas with lighter green colors since they're closer to you. So they look brighter. And you just put those in with the one inch brush like I did before. However much you want, whichever colors you want. Add some red, make some pretty flowers. Like I did before, I put the put the green on the brush completely and just dipped the corner of the brush with red and was able to put in bushes with flowers on top at the same time. And there we have our lovely painting. Hope you enjoyed this video.